Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 16. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's a sign that I need maybe one more cup of coffee. Although I made it halfway through before I had to look at the rundown sheet again. All right, so we are playing through Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, sequel to the game we did in Season 1 of Games Revisited. And we are making our way through the Harbinger. We have looted our way all the way out to the escape pods to find them locked up. We mostly did that for the XP anyway. So uh, now that that's done, I'd really like to find a workstation so I could make my other Jedi over there a weapon more befitting her status. And I still, I wish there was a way to open up that blast room door. There was. All right, I guess not. I need to spend a little more time watching the lockpicking lawyer then. There's no computer here? I don't I don't see a computer here. At least if there was a computer, I'd have something to hack. Is there another is there a workstation here? I kind of hate that you're sitting there Resorting to uh, roving your mouse around looking for things to click on. Is there anything I can do here? Just check the... Alright. Nope. Where's that at? Is there something up here? Nope. <sighs> okay. Then let's make our way out of here. Let's make it like a tree and leave. That is empty. That is the briefing room. And now we can head through this door here. That is everything looted there. Let's head over to the crew quarters. Shall we? All right, what's on uh, this side here? Let's do a quick security check on this uh, footlocker here. I mean, we want to make sure that it's secure. 15 bucks? That just so happens to be the fee for an unsecured locker. Curious, that. What about this side here? What do we got on this side here? Anything? Nope. I thought I had a thing to click on. Alright, let's get this guy over here at least. Do you have a weapon? A light combat suit. Okay. Um, Light combat suit. Alright, so that is light armor, which is nice. Nothing about uh, force powers, so not for me. And, yeah, not good enough for Atten. Because uh, you get, yeah, no. That might be good for somebody eventually. If nothing else, for selling and then breaking down for points. Oh, what's, uh, what do I have over here? I'm still looking for galactic history. Still trying to find T3M4. All right, we got more on that and, okay. Why are you still flashing at me? All right, so there is nothing to click on over there. And then, uh-oh. Are you all right? Um, <laughs> these were my quarters. I just need a second. This was my room or hold on. I want to search this room. Let's, uh, let's go with number two. I need a second. This was your room? When? Uh, when I was aboard the Harbinger, before I lost consciousness and woke up on Paragos, or it's not important. 
Let's make an educated guess and go with that first option. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. Oh, I plan on it. That's a lot of beds for a single quarter. What do we got in the footlocker? We've got a broadening chamber mark one. Oh, and an armband and a data pad. All right. Anand Jr., you are requested to report to the Harbinger Medical Bay for routine examination. The routine is automated. Simply insert this data pad into the medical computer to receive your injections. Okay. And, uh, where does this armband go? Alright, this armband belonged to the Jedi Anon Jr. who was exiled from the Jedi Order following the Mandalorian Wars. And it gives me a constitution bonus of one. Oh yeah, that's totally worth skipping out on the uh, mining shield. Alright. <laughs> nice. All right, and that's a blaster upgrade. Okay. Apparently, the Republic knew of your exile status, and they had secretly been monitoring you on the vessel. They even assigned the HK protocol droid to watch you, which is probably how he discovered your presence in the first place. Gotcha. Is that really all that's in here? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love having a plus one to con, but... All right, let's tickle the lock over here. Skill too low. How about now? Still too low. Uh, let's try one of these. Ha! Beautiful. So what could be in here that it was so well locked down? Anything good? A poison grenade. Eh, not good enough. Is this the second one where I thought I had something to click on on that, uh... chest over there? Yep, yeah, okay. Nothing to click on on that chest over there. Oh, probably because his head was standing in the way. Or the door lock was in the way. Man, that's a tease, putting a chest over there and not letting you loot it. That is such a tease. Alright. You know, it's... Oh, okay, I was just thinking, it's been a while since we were, uh, attacked. Oh, and now these guys level up. Fine, I'll get to you guys later. Let's, uh, get you to... Oh! Oh, behind us! Okay. Let's, uh... No, 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 no. Let, let's not do the regular attacks. Let's do the energy shield. Then the attacks. And... Miss, I have trouble. Let's, uh, get you a shield. No, not the energy shield. Let's get you the melee shield. And a stun, and then the attacks. What is it? Come on, finish him quick. Finish him quick. Everyone down. Come on. More where that came from. Get him. Please tell me somebody left a double-bladed sword. Huh? Huh? That would be awesome. No. Hmm. What do you have on you, Mr. Soldier, sir? Ah, ten bucks. Okay. Uh, anything else in the room worth, uh, looting? No? Okay. Let's head through the door. Surprised we haven't found a workstation yet, either. Alright, so we got the medical bay. 
And if this is true to some of the other ships that we've been on, I bet this loops around. Let's go ahead and clear the hallway first, and then we'll go to the medical... Ooh, what do you have on you? Ten bucks on a med pack. Eh. Oh, oh, oh. Level the crew. Level the crew before I forget again. All right, Atten. You got some skills. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's bump up your demolitions. You can be my demo temporary demolitions man. And we'll bump up your awareness. Because demolitions is one of the skills that I don't have. And I get the funny feeling that we're getting close to the point where the DC is going to be more than I can manage for now. So we'll do that and accept. And then the Lady Jedi. Let's go to skills. Let's keep her treat injury up and her awareness up. And we might as well get the stealth up. Dump one more into repair? Sure, we'll dump one more into repair. Okay. And for feats, she gets improved force focus and an arm specialist. Always nice. Uh, wait. Ooh. I wanted to get her finesse lightsaber right now because she's going to need that and for powers yes I want her to double down on the heal so we'll go ahead and add heal oh she gets two powers that's right because she's a counselor um now that's where the questions I hope I hope she's not going to go with any of the dark side stuff, because I, I don't intend to bring her that way. I mean, she's got a couple of dark side powers, but I'd rather not do that. Uh, we've got the stun droid line that we could bring her through. Force deflection. Uh, no, not so good. Battle meditation. Ooh. Because if she's in Jedi support with battle meditation, that means that we got a mini Bastila floating around our party. Get plus two to attack and damage and will. Yeah. Let's add that. Okay. Bam. Accept. Save the game. Because <laughs> I'd hate to do all that work and then not have uh, not have the save. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, wait, no. He's got nothing on him. The blast door is magnetically sealed and can't be opened. I seem to be running into that a lot. Oh, hello. Let's uh, let's let these guys run on autopilot and see how that goes. And if you could leave one of your nifty double weapons behind, that would be phenomenal. Time to take you down to size. Come on. All right. Anything? No? Oh, well. All right. I guess we are going through the medical... Well, no, let's, let's try looping around the other side of the hallway. And then if we got to go down through the medical bay, we'll go down through the medical bay. Um... Did I just middle, miss a looting opportunity? No. Okay. Just double checking. Let's open up that door there and try looping around this way. Yeah. Okay. 30 bucks. Always nice. Oh. That door sealed too? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to hit you with that, and then a push, and then load up on the attacks. More where that came from. Come on, see up the attacks. Did I just push him to death? I think I did. 
Finish him. Nothing? Nobody? Oh. And it's magnetically sealed. Okay. I guess we're going through the med bay whether we want to or not. Dun 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 dun. And let's loot the cylinder. Battle armor. Uh. Wow, we're picking up a lot of armor here. Oh, that's the same armor that we had before. Never mind. That's heavy armor that nobody can use. Okay. Hey. I could heal in there if I need to. <laughs> Do you wish to heal yourself? No. I'll be fine. What do we have in here? Insert data pad. Check treatment request. Sedatives administered during routine exam 3.5 days ago. Emergency override. Enacted dosage exceeds safety protocol. Okay, I bet this was HK trying to uh, sedate us to do effect. Uh, yeah, during your last medical exam, you were administered a delayed sedative that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered you unconscious when the harbinger was taken out. It looks as if someone forgot to lock out the treatment request once administered. You still have to access one of the culto tanks in the medical bay. Oh, you still have access to the culto tanks. Okay. All right. What's well, in the medical logs? Let's try the wreckage report. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that fifth firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. <laughs> okay. Sith survivor? Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each hmm. bone was splintered repeatedly over time, then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, Ow. I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Dark forces. All right, emergency broadcast. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him are Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we got to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a uh -oh. few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord. Alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Well then. Alright, and... Let's check the camera recordings. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Big and Nasty, who we saw piloting the ship in. Yep. Yeah, no. Why are you running? There's no way that's going to end well. You can't run from a Sith Lord. Can we get any chemicals? Chemicals dispense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'll die tired. That's exactly it. Alright. So, we got some XP, some chemicals, and... Yeah, that's about it. Hey, a loot box. But I didn't think this was made from EA. Biotech implant. Ooh, what does that do? Alright, uh, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. Regen 1. Yes, please. How... What do I need to do? <laughs> yeah, EA. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
I can't use that? Oh, because i got to have a minimum constitution of 14. All right. Yeah, I am now officially conflicted about whether I like tying the implants to your con score versus a feat. Hmm. What, 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 what is my con score? I do have a 14. Oh, no, because I have something that bumps it up by one. All right, so I'll be able to use that on the uh, on the next level up where I get a uh, ability score. What else we got over here? Broken cult tank. This tank was shattered from the inside. Fragments litter the floor around it. Thank you, game. I would have never figured that out. All right. What have we got in this box? A disruptor pistol. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, we got the repair parts. Let's go ahead. The medical droid is now active and its medical circuits have been engaged. It will follow you and attempt to heal you if you get injured. Okay. I'll take it. I'll especially take the XP that comes along with it. Alright. Um, is that the one I already looted? Yes, that's the one I already looted. Alright, what do we got over here? A repair kit, med pack, some chemicals. Okay. And a lab station, but not a... Um, light battle armor. Do I already have light battle armor? The disruptor pistol is not any better than anything else anybody has. The light battle armor is medium armor, the, which nobody can wear, so... Of course. I sure love how they're giving everybody all this all this stuff that you can't use. Mm. Alright. Uh what can I break down? Could break down that biotech implant, but no, I actually want to use that when I get a chance to. I I want to keep some of them. I you know what? I'll keep I'll keep the minor sonic mines for use on doors. I don't plan on using any th any of the other mines. So let's go ahead and break down the deadly sonic mines. Which will free up a little inventory space and get us some total chemicals. I'm going to keep the battle stimulants. I, I keep forgetting that they're a thing, but I do want to have them handy because an extra plus one to attack and damage is and bonus vitality is always nice if we end up at a boss battle or something like that. That's usually what I save them for. Uh, same for the strength. I never end up u using the con boost, so let's go ahead and break those down. Strength and dex. I'll keep those handy. And I love grenades. Although I'm probably not going to use the poison grenades. Who am I kidding? I'm going to keep grenades. Alright. Good to know that I can make a couple too. I can make frag grenades, concussion grenades, and ion grenades if I need to. And my current skill is 7. 9, 13, 14... Okay. Oh, and I can make sonic detonators. Alright. I can make minor sonic mines if I need to. And they seem to be fine for doors for the moment. Uh, we'll find out in a little bit. And if I can find an, a boost for demolitions, that might work too. Okay. Um, treat injuries getting there. Alright. I might have to look at some of these other... Ooh. Oh, never mind. I can't use that. Minimum Constitution 16. That is worth keeping an eye on, though. Is that, uh, makes you immune to poison and gives you a con boost. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... 
Alright, nothing I'm going to need to make right now because I've got 21 med packs in inventory. I should be okay with that. I could make the advanced med packs, but that, that doesn't seem to be anything I need. And I haven't run into enough... You know, let me go ahead and make a... Just in case. Okay. So what do we got? We got the med bay door. And we got over here. No, nope, no. Nope. I thought there was another guy. Just this one. And again with the three different types of credits. Did did he get paid from three different people? Is there some sort of weirdness with the credit exchange system? I still never figured out why you end up with three different types of credits. Even though I'm pretty sure they all spend the same. Nope. Oh. Hello, Mr. Assassin. Let me push you down. Flurry. Stun. Flurry. And I'll let my friends do whatever they're going to do. Yeah. Or do I just need to power attack you? Let's try that. Get one of those in there. Nope. Never mind. Power attack's not working out. There we go. Seriously, nobody could nobody could drop some decent loot. Alright. What's over here behind this low security door anyway? Hmm. I like stuff. Is this the weapons I needed? A computer spike. I mean, it's not nothing. I'll take it. What about over here? Security tunneler. I just used one, so I, I could use a replacement. Parts and components, always nice. Too bad you can't jump. I wonder if there's something on top of that crate. Alright, and what do we got in this box here? A Mandalorian shield, an adrenal stamula, stamina. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Uh, I happen to know that that is where we get to the end of the level, and we're not done looting stuff yet. So, let's do that first. Oh, uh, never mind. Let's, let's take care of the assassin types. Bam. I will silence this one. Let's get the guys that are, uh, right up on my less than helpful assistant over here. No. No, I don't like even odds. If you got into a fair fight, you did something wrong. Alright. Oh! Droidtopia. What do we got in here? I know it appears deactivated. How do I make it activated? Droid maintenance data pad, 50 bucks and a med pack. Droid maintenance log. I don't know whether this new HK-50 droid is a gift or a curse. After the destruction of the previous protocol droid, when it accidentally activated that frag... Accidentally activated that frag mine, the HK has stepped into its place without a hitch. The problem is it doesn't take commands very well, and most of the time I have no idea where it's been. There's been reports it's been sighted in the crew quarters with the captain in maintenance and even in mid-lab of all places. And when I ask the droid about it, it gives me a smart mouth response about facilitated communication. I don't know who commissioned these HK models, but I don't like them. None of us do, good sir. None of us do. I know it appears deactivated. I want to activate, unlike the others, this protocol droid appears to have been purposely sabotaged. Is it? I mean, 
don't get me wrong, I am happy to take 100 XP for clicking on a droid to find out that it's been purposely sabotaged, but uh, I, I can't get another another droid to follow me around. And, and let me guess, this is Madden see Yep, okay. Alright, so that's just our crowd control. Sweet. Alright. Um, just double checking my notes. Alright, so this is going to be where we go to the next section. Let us first get these things to stop flashing at us. Why are you flashing at me? That's the maintenance data pad. Oh, that's the con bonus I never used. The security tunneler I wouldn't mind a few more of. And it looks... Yep, yeah, okay. So that's part of the recent history, reminding me that I found out that the HK unit uh, likely sabotaged the protocol droid so it could take its place and have free run of the ship. Alright, let's uh, save the game. Yep. And, uh... This is where I'm going to insert a cut. So if you're watching on YouTube, you know what's coming next. And if you're watching live, hang tight, because I'm still going to record at least two more episodes. So give me just a second. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.